One of the most common questions I get is what over-the-counter medications are safe in pregnancy, and that's a really good question. I have a lot of patients, unfortunately, that get colds or flus or headaches, and they suffer needlessly because they're afraid to take anything over-the-counter. So I like to give all my patients sort of advice of what they can take without asking me first. The first thing on the list is Tylenol. Tylenol is the pain reliever of choice when you're pregnant. So if you have a headache or you twist your ankle or your back hurts, Tylenol is completely safe in pregnancy. You can use um, two extra strength Tylenols every four hours as needed um, for pain relief. So that's really the, what you want to use for pain relief. You definitely want to stay away from aspirin products or ibuprofen, um, uh, Motrin, or those types of medications. So for pain, you want to use Tylenol. If you get a cold, there's some cold medicines that you can use as well. The truth is most cold medicines are actually safe. I recommend staying away from the cold medicines that have a whole bunch of different ingredients in it, but rather take just the ingredient that you need. So for instance, if you have a stuffy nose or a runny nose um, or a lot of phlegm um, or even somewhat for a cough, Sudafed is a great choice. Now, Sudafed is an interesting medication because unfortunately, if you know how to do it, you can take Sudafed go into your garage and turn it into amphetamines and then sell it apparently for a big profit. So because of that, Sudafed has been taken off of the shelves and you have to show your driver's license in order to get it. You don't need a prescription. They just want to make sure you're not buying cases and cases of Sudafed because if you are, they may visit your garage to make sure you don't have a little lab there. There are other types of Sudafed. There's Sudafed PE, for instance. That's really a different medication. It's also safe in pregnancy, but in my opinion, the good old-fashioned regular Sudafed works the best. So I think it's worth showing your driver's license and getting it from behind the counter. But if you don't want to do it that way, the Sudafed PE is safe, and it also works to some extent. Other cold medicines, if you have a cough, Robitussin DM is something that can work well. So that's completely safe in pregnancy as well. Um, the only issue with Robitussin is that if you're diabetic, there's a lot of sugar in Robitussin DM, and so you really shouldn't take that. They do make a sugar-free version of that if you're diabetic, so it's something to look for. If you have a cough, then um, you can use any type of um, cough drop that you want. So, you know, Sepacol lozenges or even, uh, I like the little um, lemon drop candies work quite well. Uh, so for sore throat, you can use any kind of throat lozenge. Other things that can help would be gargling with warm salt water. All these things, of course, are safe in pregnancy uh, and can be um, of benefit. If you get allergic allergy symptoms, so you know a, a clear runny nose, scratchy eyes, there's a lot of pollen in the air and you suffer from allergies, almost any of the allergy medicines are safe. Um, Claritin or um, Zyrtec are both very good to use because they're non-sedating. If you want to take something at night that's going to sedate you, Benadryl is clearly safe as well. And pretty much any of the antihistamine products are safe in pregnancy, um, and you can use those without worrying. There are a lot of medicines that can be used to help with constipation. Really, the first method is to try to use non-medications, basically drinking more water, maybe even taking some prune juice, or increasing the fiber in your diet can all help with constipation. But if the constipation gets bad, and honestly, constipation is a pretty normal sign of pregnancy, um, then there are over-the-counter medications you can use. Any of the stool softeners are safe. So that's medicines like Colace, Metamucil, Citrusil, Fibrocon. Those are all safe in pregnancy. I personally recommend Colace um, because it's a little gel cap. The other kind of things you got to mix with water. It's kind of gross. Um, but some people love that. So if you want to mix yours with water and drink it, you can use your Citrusil or your Metamucil. Um, all of those are okay to use in pregnancy. There are a lot of heartburn medications that are safe. My first line uh, treatment would be Tums, uh, and you can just chew on two Tums, and that should help relieve your heartburn. The nice thing about Tums is Tums is calcium carbonate, so it's basically just a calcium supplement. And it's nice to get some extra calcium in pregnancy anyway, so Tums is kind of a two-for-one. It helps your heartburn, it also replaces your calcium. And in fact, in my patients that need calcium replacement, I recommend Tums, because honestly, in my opinion, if your body needs the calcium, it doesn't matter what kind of calcium you put in there, it'll, it'll use it. Tums is very cheap, it tastes pretty good, and it's simple to use. So that's what I would recommend for calcium replacement or as a first-line treatment for heartburn. Now you may find that Tums isn't strong enough, and in that case, using Pepsid or Zantac are all um, safe in pregnancy. Tagamet also is safe. And so one strategy that you could use is to eat a couple Tums. That should help right away, but it doesn't last very long. Then take a Pepsid at the same time, and that should give you longer-lasting relief. So those are medicines that you can use um, for heartburn that are all over-the-counter uh, and available 
uh, and safe in pregnancy. If you get um, diarrhea, um, Imodium is safe in pregnancy. Now, if the diarrhea lasts a long time or it's bloody or has mucus, Imodium isn't safe even if you're not pregnant. You really need to see your family doctor for that because there could be a, a more significant problem. But if you just have some diarrhea, Imodium is definitely safe to use in pregnancy. If you get a yeast infection, any of the over-the-counter creams are safe. So all of the monostats of the different varieties, monostat 1, 3, 5, 7, are all safe to use in pregnancy. There is a prescription for yeast infections called Diflucan, which is a single tablet, which is great when you're not pregnant. It's technically safe in pregnant pregnancy, but my advice is to try the creams first because there's definitely no harm with the creams. Uh, but that's uh, over-the-counter. You can just buy the, the monostat, uh, whichever variety you like, and use that in pregnancy, and that's perfectly safe. If you get a rash, uh, you can use Benadryl or the other antihistamines such as Zyrtec for the itch. But for the rash itself, you can really use pretty much any of the rash creams. Things like Caladryl cream or Benadryl cream are safe. You could also use 1% hydrocortisone cream, uh, and that can help um, a lot as well. And so all those creams are, are safe in pregnancy. Sometimes women will have increased discharge in pregnancy to the point where it can give them a rash on the outside of their vagina. People don't like when I tell them this, but that's basically a diaper rash. So get into the baby supplies and go ahead and use a diaper rash ointment, such as desitin or A&D ointment. You can also use 1% hydrocortisone cream there as well. That can be safe. Now, a couple things that you shouldn't use. You really shouldn't be using any diet medications. The diet drugs really aren't safe in pregnancy, and you really shouldn't be dieting like that in pregnancy anyway. So don't use an appetite suppressant in pregnancy. The other thing that I worry about are the herbal remedies. Um, and so these sort of food supplement herbal remedies, the problem is they may be safe in pregnancy and probably are, but there's really no data. So we don't know for sure that they're safe or not safe. And so because there's that big question mark, I do not recommend using um, any of the herbal or dietary supplements uh, in pregnancy just because uh, we don't know which would, could cause a problem. So this is sort of a, a general list of medications uh, that I consider safe in pregnancy and I allow my patients to use without asking me first. You probably want to ask your doctor for a list of what they consider safe. There are a lot of other, other medications that are safe in pregnancy. Um, I've sort of given you an example or two from each sort of malady um, of what you can use, but there's certainly other brands or types of medications over the counter that are safe as well. Twice.com. <laughs>